We started this project uh, through a, a joint ownership of the lot back in uh, 2006. Yeah, 2006. 2006. And during that course of time, we have, uh, we have redesigned several homes and uh, the economy has changed, um, you know, throughout that course of time. And we ended up with the, uh, with the idea of creating a, a, a home which uh, combines luxury and, and true efficiency. The, big, the biggest thing is the energy efficiency. I mean, the, the level of finishing in this home is better than your typical luxury home. But the combination of luxury with net zero, with rainwater harvesting, with staggered stud walls, with higher levels of, of insulation, um, with European windows and doors, passive windows and doors, has created a product that um, is not only large and, and luxury, but it's, it, it's, it's cheap to maintain. It, uh, the cost to maintain this home it goes down dramatically. And it uses the natural, um, you put it, the natural elements that the, the earth provides us. It, it, it's structurally better as well, like uh, the house has got extra shear walls, extra concrete shear walls in it, uh, concrete columns, you know, steel structure with skeleton within, within the, the, the structure of the wall. So it's a lot, a lot better than uh, anything else that you'll find in the province. wanted to produce, the average home in BC produces 12,000, just under 12,000 kilowatt hours of energy a year. Mm -hmm. They use up that much. So we wanted to balance that out and produce roughly 12,000 kilowatt hours of energy. Now on our roof it doesn't look like a lot of panels, but it's an 8,000 square foot roof also. So on a standard home this many panels would take mm -hmm. up an entire roof. But because we have 8,000 square feet mm -hmm. of roof panels, uh, 8,000 square feet of roof, the panels do look smaller. <coughs> but there is 42 panels up there producing 12,000 kilowatt hours of energy a year. the environment in BC and I mean the environment is we, we get a lot of rain and it seemed somewhat irresponsible not to use that rain to take care of our irrigation and take care of topping off our pool and our hot tub. Uh, so we put, it, put forth the effort of burying 3,700 gallons worth of tanks under the ground and all our water from our roof gets cycled into those tanks so that when our pool calls for water, our hot tub calls for water, our irrigation calls for water, um, we're using the rainwater rather than using city water. Well, we have, we're the first home in BC to get the Tesla Powerwall 2, so uh, only the second home in Canada. Uh, we wanted to use, again, trying to keep with the green theme, we, wanted, we didn't want to have a big diesel generator sitting outside that when power goes off, it kicks in. Not only does it create pollution, it also creates noise pollution. So we, we worked hard to get the Tesla Powerwall 2s. It took us over a year and a half. The way they work is uh, they, they're tied directly, uh, they're, di they're tied into the grid, or our solar panels are tied into the grid. So, our solar energy is just being sent back to the grid on a daily basis. So when you come home from work and you use your power, any, any energy that was stored up during the day, you get to use free of charge through the grid. In the case of a power outage, the batteries kick in seamlessly. And that solar energy gets transferred directly to the batteries. So in the case of a power outage, you, the, often when there is a power outage, it's during a storm, but the next day often the sun comes out. Well, once the sun comes back out, those solar panels will continually feed your batteries and keep your house powered and moving forward. It'd be nice if whoever bought this home uh, really did appreciate it for the things that are in it. Like, uh, I like the idea that, say for example, you'd have a Tesla car, you drive it into the garage, plug it in, have the sun charge it up and you can drive it all day long. Uh, even though it's an extravagant home, you'd be paying a 50 to $80 heat bill and a zero light bill. That's a tremendous thing for a home like this, a big home like this for for you know, money like that to run it. I think there, if somebody that comes in here, even though they may be well off, I'd like them to appreciate that.